Hello everyone, Miss D here. In class today, we made a post card from Word. Now I have Word 2013, but 2016 is very similar. So you can do the same thing in Word 2016. So go ahead and open up Word. I'm opening up Word now and click on blank document. Okay, once you have a blank document, what I want you to do is go to, the, on yours it would say layout, but on mine it says page layout. Click on the page layout tab. Go to your page setup group and click on size, the command size, and go all the way down to where it says more paper sizes. Click on more paper sizes, and then on the more paper sizes for the width, you're going to put six, then for the height, you're going to put four. Then you're going to say, okay. And you see that you have a shape of a postcard now. Okay, I do want you to take uh, pay close attention that in your page setup group, you also have margins, you have orientation, you have columns. So just be aware of that. Uh, right now, what you're going to do is you're going to make a straight line down the middle of your postcard. So how you do this is you click on your insert tab. Once you click on your insert tab, you go to your illustrations group. And then you click on the shapes command. Once you click on the shapes command, you go down to the lines and click on the first line. You hold down your shift key on your computer. It doesn't seem like I have my line yet. So there it is, my line. You have to have the plus sign. Once you have your plus sign, hold down your shift key. And just draw your straight line. What the shift key does is it helps you draw your straight line. Now, if, you, if you're drawing a line, I just want to go back for a minute just to show you this. If I'm drawing a line without holding down my shift key, then what usually happens is it will go crooked. Okay? So I don't want to do that. So what I want to make sure I'm doing is holding down the shift key so that I can draw a straight line. That's the reason for holding down the shift key. Just wanted to make you aware of that. Once I have my line, if I feel like it's not in the, in the, if it's not in the middle, I can just left click and hold and, and, and move it to wherever I want it to be, okay? So I have my line. Now I'm going up to my shape styles group and I'm clicking on my more button and I'm making my line whatever color I want. So I just want it to be blue, so I'm clicking on blue. But you can make it whatever color you want. And then click out to the right side, okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to make a stamp about right here. So we're going to the Insert tab, and we're going to the Illustrations group, and we're going to click on the Shapes command. You're going to click on the rectangle, and then once you click on the rectangle, you're going to hold down your Shift, key on your keyboard and you're going to just draw a small stamp okay and release your shift now we have to get rid of this um the shape fill color okay so you go to your shape styles group you go to shape fill and you say no fill so the fill goes away so now what we want to do is make um this box so you can see the box when I click out of it when I click on it to activate it there you go I have my sizing handles what I want to do is make dashes though so I'm going to click on this again and then I'm going to shape outline and then where it says dashes I can go ahead and put whatever dashes I want and if I want my weight to be heavy so that you can really see this, it says weight, I can make the weight as heavy as I want. So I just like it one point, but if you want it heavier, you can make it as heavy as you want. You can see the difference between the different weights. Okay, see. Okay, I like it one point. But if you like it three forks of a point, go ahead and make it three forks of a point. I'm going to go back and make mines. I'm going to go back, I'm sorry, 
and make mines. Um, I'm going to go back and make mines one point. Okay. All right. Now, the next step is we're going to make a, a return sender's uh, text box here. So, we're going to click on insert. Okay. And then we're going to go to the text group. And then you're going to go to text box. You're going to click on the text box command. And then you're going to go all the way down to the command that says draw text box. And you click on that. And you actually just draw a text box. Then you type in your uh, name. So you could put any name um, you want here and uh, put an address. Okay, and if you click out, you see that you have a box around this, which we don't want. So you click back into this and make sure you have your sizing handles. Once you do that, you go up to your shape styles group. Click on shape outline because this is the outline of the text box. Okay, you click on the command shape outline and click on no outline. Now you see the outline goes away. Now what we need to do to this is we need to make sure that we have a uh, single line spacing. So you, you're going to highlight the name, address, city, and state zip code. We're going to go to the paragraph group on the home tab. We're going to click on the paragraph launcher. We're going to go to after. Make sure after has a zero in it and make sure before has zero in it. Make sure line spacing has single. And you have activated do not add spaces between paragraphs of the same style. And then say OK. And you can see that my line spacing is singular. Another way you can do that, let me just click undo just to show you another way. You can do the same thing as highlight the information that you want to change the line spacing on. Go to the paragraph group. Go straight up where you see these up and down arrows. And it's the line. I'm sorry. I just clicked it by mistake. It's the line spacing. So click on the drop down arrow. Say one. And then go back to the drop down arrow. Because you see if you say one, it doesn't really move, right? So you have to go back down to the drop down arrow on your line spacing command and say remove spaces after paragraph. And you can do the same thing. So there's several ways to do one thing. So whichever way is comfortable for you, as long as you know how to do it, then I'm okay with that. Now we need another text box here because we're going to write to the person we're sending this postcard to. So we're going to click on the insert tab. We're going to go to our text group. We're going to click on the text box. We're going to go down to draw text box command and click on that. And we're going to draw our text box. And then we're going to put in dear and whoever you're writing to. I'm going to write to Denise and whatever you're going to say you just write whatever you're going to say. Um, okay, if I click out If I click out, then what will happen is I see a box here. I want to get rid of this box. How do you get rid of this box? This box, the same way we got rid of the box around our return name. You go, you click on the box. And once you click on the box, you'll see drawing tools in format. Okay. Once I do that, I can click on format. And then it takes me to where I need to be. Okay, go to the shape styles command and then say shape outline. Then I can say no outline and it disappears and you see it's gone. So it looks like a postcard. Now what I want to do on the other side of my postcard is I want to add a, a picture. Okay, so I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to click, uh, go to the illustrations group. I'm going to click on the online pictures command. Oh, and mine's 